So my young daughter claimed that uh, the car was making a squeaking sound. So I took the, uh, took the car around the block. This is the old $500 Civic that we got two years ago. I took the old turret around the block and uh, it was a screeching, grinding, uh, felt like the wheels were coming off. I think, uh, I think the, the brakes are completely shot. Of course, she said it was a squeak. It's uh, far beyond a squeak. So let's take these front wheels off and uh, see what we can find. Okay, well this is, uh, this is horrible. This is rusty and crusty and holy. A lot can happen in two years. Uh, pads are wore down to nothing. Rotors are, they're good for scrap metal. We have to get some parts. We'll do these, uh, these brakes and rotors. I'm gonna take these calipers right off. Hopefully they're still good. And uh, buddy's good on this car, but uh, I'm gonna have to spray some some undercoating in here. I don't like the looks of this, and we got to get this car through an inspection. I'm gonna try to get another two years out of her. All right, let's take this off. So we do need brakes for sure on this side as well. Uh, we're gonna do the whole front, but uh, our main noise would have been this this backer plate. This backer plate there and I don't think I don't know what the rules and regulations are I don't think you need the backer plate for your your safety your brakes will work just fine without without that so I'm just gonna leave that off and uh, off to the parts store now okay well I went out and got my parts I went to UAP they had everything on the shelf I bought some uh, relatively cheap stuff uh, cheap brake pads some cheap rotors. I got my two main uh, bolts out that hold the caliper in place, 17 millimeter. Now I'm just gonna beat on this thing a little bit. Try to get this off. I'll take the whole thing off. Let's see what it looks like. Even the cal geez, the caliper does not look good. But, oh well, if it works, we'll reuse it for sure. I'm planning on reusing it. Let's take this off. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think it was time for pads. And I broke down, I got, uh, I even got rotors. I don't always get rotors, but in this case, I'm gonna set this down here so I don't stretch the crap out of that hose. Uh, yeah, these are looking bad, so. Just gonna get a, uh, just gonna bead on these for a bit, get a Phillips uh, screwdriver, I'm gonna pop these off. Okay, so I got the uh, caliper loaded up with the new pads and clips everything looks good uh, everything went well I'm having a bit of a hard go taking these screws out uh, my buddy Ed said beat these with a hammer and I've been doing that and I can't budge them so I think I might go out and get one of those those impact uh, screw things I'm at the exact same spot on the other side the exact same spot I gotta take these off and uh, this side, this is the side that we lost the dust cover. The dust cover was already gone on the other side. Uh, I mean, these were, I wonder we had squeaking. Yeah, there was nothing left. Nothing left of those. This, that was a good one. This was a good one. This one had nothing left. So, uh, i tackle these again. I'm going to beat these a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, because I really do want to swap these rotors out. I've already bought them. Let's get these off. Okay. Still working on this. Not having any luck, so I let them soak down a bit. I'm gonna maybe go out and get that tool. In the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit of rust proofing in here, like I said I was gonna do. Got a combination of different rust checks. I got a fluid film. I'm gonna get these, uh, this, this metal soaked down here. I'm gonna stay away from the brakes as much as I can. But uh, I'm gonna coat this metal. Uh, sometimes this goes a long way at your inspection. It does make things look a little bit better. All right, well you get the idea. I'm gonna do this. Come back, tackle those screws.
Okay, well that sucked, but I ended up having to, uh, what I did is I, I drilled these out. I drilled them out. I couldn't turn them, couldn't do anything. Uh, I didn't want to run out and buy that tool, so, uh, now I don't know. I don't know if this is a requirement. Not all, not all, uh, rotors have the screws. Uh, I'm going to call my uh, local garage and find out if these have to be replaced. If not, uh, I'm just going to put the... I'm just gonna put the disc on and everything back on and I mean the wheel holes everything on anyway so uh, but I will find out if I do need if I do need uh, the screws then I'll have to uh, drill out these these little remnants uh, I'll drill them out and I'll get the proper screws but uh, if I don't have to I won't uh, I will find out before I put this back together well I just had a chat with a mechanic and as it turns out these little screws uh, they're only to hold the rotor in place uh, it makes your life easier when you're putting your caliper on also I think once you take these out you can use them in these second holes and you can just sort of use it as a as a jacking bolt to take this off because uh, I had to beat the old one off uh, pretty good to get it off but anyway it's not a requirement so I was gonna drill these out go get new screws not a requirement as long as they're flush uh, nothing's proud uh, I'm just gonna put just gonna put these on and uh, put my brakes back together okay well I got my caliper back on only two bolts uh, easy job uh, the mechanic uh, that I asked he did give me a good little tip uh, because I guess the main reason for these screws like I said is just to hold everything in place so this isn't flopping around while you're putting your caliper on he gave me a tip just put on one lug nut down here so nothing moves and then uh, once everything's bolted uh, this rotor is held on with the uh, with the wheel nuts so that's it I'm gonna do the other side now same thing drill those out forget it there forget they ever existed and uh, I'm just gonna clean this up here wipe this down and put the wheel back on and call this good okay on to Civic brakes thanks for watching